What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are looking at some amazing world downloads. We did one of these videos a long time ago and you guys really liked it. So we're back with another one. And first up today, we have a very nostalgic world right here. This is the Minecraft tutorial world. And a lot of you guys that started playing Minecraft a long time ago may remember this world. If you haven't played Minecraft for a very long time, you might not know it but this was the original tutorial world for Minecraft. And of course, all the links to these world downloads will be down in the description below so you can go and download and play these worlds for yourself and have a grand old time in them. Also, if you enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like on it and if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. Also, we have a Discord that has been up for just a few weeks now and the link to join that will be down in the description below as well. I love delving into nostalgic things from Minecraft, so of course the tutorial world was definitely one of those, and when I saw that you could download a world of this, I was definitely going to do it. There's also even a world download for the Bedrock version as well, so if you play on Bedrock you can download the same file that the link goes to and there will be a Bedrock as well as multiple Java versions inside of it. Now let's get into some incredible build worlds that you can download for yourself. This one is called Radiant City and I think this is just an absolutely beautiful city built in Minecraft. All the buildings are super detailed, not all of the interiors are done, but a lot of them actually are so you can see how they decorate the interiors. This is also just a great world to get building inspiration for different city building designs. There's lots of different designs here, basically every building has a very unique design in this city which I absolutely love. It's not just copy and paste it over and over throughout the city, I think this is absolutely beautiful. It can also be really hard to tell the scale of this city when you're just flying around it so that's why I dropped down on the ground so you can really tell how large all of these buildings actually are. There's also a metro which is just a rail cart system that goes around the city. You can see just an up close of some of these buildings here. There's so many different blocks used. I love the glazed terracotta on the ground. It really gives the pathways, the sidewalks around here a really unique look. Also, I think these buildings look so cool. I know I've said that a few times already, but there's just so many different designs here that all look so nice, especially paired together. And this is really a great city for you to just explore, get some building inspiration and other things like that. Also, if you're wondering what shaders I'm currently using, that is the complimentary shaders. I'll try to put a link down for it in the description below if I don't forget by the time I upload this video. Next up, we have a world called Illager Island, and this is actually an adventure map, so I'm not going to show you too much of it because I don't want to spoil any secrets of how to get out of the jail cell or go any further in the world, but I can say that I have played this and it is a lot of fun, so I highly recommend you play it. You can set your game mode to adventure mode, the difficulty you want to play on, and then you can go read the rules and start the game. It's really fun if you've never played an adventure map uh, like this before, I highly recommend you do. They're a lot of fun, they really test your Minecraft knowledge, and it is super cool to see how much work these designers put into these maps. So in this world, you start off in this small little jail cell. You have a book and you have to basically make your way out of the cell and then progress through the rest of the adventure map. Now I went ahead and cut where I actually got this key from to escape from my cell, so you guys will have to figure it out for yourself if you go ahead and download this world, but I can say it is a lot of fun and I highly recommend you guys go and try this map out. Also, if you guys are huge fans of adventure maps, let me know down in the comments below and I can make a whole video dedicated to finding these different adventure maps. I've played some of them before and they are really a lot of fun, so I can definitely show some off for you guys. And if this one looks like a lot of fun to you, the link for it as well as the rest of these maps are down in the description below so you can download them all for yourself right there. Next up we're going to be checking out the Orion project and there's actually a lot of different sections of this world, a lot of different buildings, castles, and so much more, even some custom terrain. It's really a beautiful, beautiful world. Now I'm only going to show off a couple different sections of this world, mostly because I want people to be able to explore it for themselves and to go and check out Navas Buildings, who is the creator behind this massive project. 
The link to their videos will be down in the description below so you can go and check out the entire world of the Project Orion. It's really, really incredible. There's so many medieval castles and so much in this world. And so if you guys are looking for a super medieval, really cool Minecraft world to play on, this is definitely the one for you. This right here is probably my favorite city in this world. These massive castle walls are just so cool looking. Of course, there's a port down by the water. This whole thing is just super beautiful and super detailed, and it really makes you want to just play on this world and live the medieval lifestyle of this world. There are so many different kingdoms throughout this world. There's the Empire of Marion, uh, the Castle of Badar, Kingdom of Elderon, Kingdom of Bromeria and so much more in this world so there's really a lot to explore and so much more than what we showed off just in today's video. Next up we have another adventure map and you're probably not going to be able to tell exactly what it is just from flying over these different maps because there actually are a lot of different maps in this world but if you're a fan of Call of Duty or especially Black Ops and Zombies then you're going to be a fan of this. Right here is all the maps that are included in this world and we're going to pretend like I didn't break the sign for Doris off, but you click one of these and it will spawn you into the actual map. Right here I'm going to be playing Classic Kino from Black Ops 1. This was such a cool map, I'll put myself in adventure mode and then we can go ahead and play this map. Now this plays exactly like zombies, it's super cool. Your task is basically to just survive as many rounds as possible. There's different bows uh, that represent the guns that are on the walls of this game. So I picked up the M14. Right now I'm using the classic pistol and basically the way it works is there's different enchantment levels and the zombies have different health and speed throughout the rounds. Honestly, if you're not even a Black Ops fan and you've never played Zombies on that game before, this is still a really fun adventure map. Uh, to open doors, you have to get points and you can see your points on the right side of the screen. You basically progress your way through this map and try to survive as many rounds as possible, which can actually get pretty difficult once you get to the later rounds. I actually had a lot of fun playing this map and it's probably one of the reasons this video didn't come out last week because I've just been playing this map and having a lot of fun on it. There's even nukes, max ammos, carpenter, and all the perks that you can get from Black Ops. You can pick up Juggernaut and it's just a really, really fun map. There's even dog rounds on this map, so you're gonna have to deal with hellhounds, which are especially vicious. They really almost got me the first round that I had them because I just was not expecting them. Eggs in this world are grenades, and this was my first playthrough of the world, so I didn't quite know how to use them yet, and I may have actually ended my run fairly short on round seven by blowing myself up while trying to learn how to use these grenades. I thought it was gonna throw further, but apparently it just dropped right where I was and I stood on it. That is all that we have for you guys today though. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you wanna check out any of these worlds, all the links are down in the description below so you can go ahead and download them for yourself. The adventure maps are super fun to play through and the other worlds are just really cool to get some build inspiration from or even to play a really interesting mode of survival on. So I highly recommend you guys go and check out these worlds for yourself and also the creators that built them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.